Happy Wednesday. I'm News for Jax Meteorologist Rebecca, checking in on the latest with your forecast. Hurricane Zeta will make landfall as a Category 2 hurricane later today along the Louisiana coastline. Our weather will be a lot quieter. We're expecting partly cloudy skies and above average temperatures in the mid 80s, topping out around 86. That won't break the record for today, which is 89 from 2010. We'll see an isolated round of showers along and to the east of I-75 during the afternoon hours in between about 4 and 7 p.m., but everyone else will remain dry. It's just that Gainesville to Lake City stretch that may see some showers. In terms of afternoon temperatures, they will be warm. We're headed into the mid-80s. We've got southeasterly winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour developing today. And as we head into Thursday, we're expecting kind of a wild weather day. Nothing in terms of severe weather, but it will be windy with southwesterly winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour and gusts of up to 30 miles per hour. And then there's the record challenging heat as we top out at 90 degrees on Thursday afternoon. Now the question mark is how much moisture Zeta will drag across our area as it races off well to the north of us. And if it does happen, it'll most likely happen during the evening to overnight hours on Thursday night. We'll get a better idea of what to expect as we see uh, how Zeta breaks down and weekends upon landfall. So that's the question mark in the forecast. But everyone's excited about the cool down this weekend. The cold front moves through Thursday night and that puts us in the low 60s on, excuse me, the upper 50s and low 60s on Friday morning. So a chilly start on Friday, only topping out at 75 under mostly sunny skies. And then a cool weekend on Halloween, we wake up at 60 and warm up to 76 with only a nice isolated chance for a shower for Sunday, which is the time change, and we get an extra hour of sleep. We're waking up at 63 and hitting 80 for the afternoon high. Another cold front pushes through, and that puts us in the 40s and 50s on Monday and Tuesday morning, and it'll be chilly even during the day, topping out around six in the upper 60s on Monday, and only in the low 70s on Tuesday, which is when voting ends. For more information, you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great day.